today, let's look at the primary canted mount with a red dot optic in a CQB scenario. We're gonna run this cold. We have a chamber flag in the weapon and there will be no shooting. So, we're gonna, I'm gonna illustrate some points as Jacob is running through this. We're gonna stop, we're gonna go, we're just gonna flow with this. Okay, let's go. For the sake of the video, this is a solid wall. Okay, no windows. No silhouettes. Okay. So. so, something I wanna bring up right out of the gate here. So, he's running at essentially a low ready, okay? And any time that he's gotta bring this optic up to his eye, okay, he'll be faster from a canted, with a canted mount than he would with a normal mount. Okay, let's roll. Okay, second point. So you have all the footwork, but his he's gonna remain more balanced with a canted mount than you would with a normal mount. He's doing some awkward footwork, but he will remain more balanced using this mount. Go ahead. Okay, shoulder transition. So Jacob, tell them what you told me this morning about your your opposite shoulder there. So on the shoulder tra transition, when you're transferring over to your support side or your weak side shoulder, uh, because the optic is canted over to the right, the side acquisition for the optic, for those who are right eye dominant, is much quicker, quicker because when you transfer over, the optic is already slanted towards your eye line, towards your, your line of sight. So when you transfer over, instead of having to get down on the gun like this, the optics are, I can see the reticle right now. My head hasn't moved much. I don't move much from here, transfer over, and it's the same difference because the optic is farther over in your eye line. So essentially, we have compensated a bit for the awkwardness of your offhand shoulder with the mount, with the red dot in a better location, would you say? Yeah. Okay, for sure. So, keep rolling. Okay, well, that, that was pretty much it then. I'd go out, continue the drill. One thing I do want to point out when you're when you're at this stage, this is a negative corner fed room, so it doesn't apply as much. But if I did not know this was a negative fed room and I break the 90, because when you shoot candy, your elbow sticks out farther, you do have to be a little cognizant not to flag your elbow as you as you break the 90, as you're approaching it. Because normally you're sitting right here, your elbow's farther out, so it's a good idea to kind of tuck in here, but you can still drive the gun forward really well from that position. Okay, so better speed, better accuracy, very, you know, real world scenario, doors and corners here. Anything yeah. else? Uh, no. Okay, that's it. It's good. <laughs>